What's up ninjas, it's Dee here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to add 3D objects to your 3D model. So for example, the sword on my back is actually a 3D asset. It is not done in Vroid Studios. You actually have to go to Unity to add it, and I'm going to show you that process now. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open Unity. It's a free program. If you don't already know how Unity works, maybe this is not the tutorial for you, but we're just going to go really fast. I'm going to import the Unity VRM package so that I can open my VRM file. You can refer to a previous tutorial on where to get all that Unity stuff, but I'm just going to zoom past it right now. There is a other tutorial, guys, where I explain how to download Unity, how to get the Unity package. Just check that. For now, we're going to import my VRM file, go ahead and save the prefab and let that do its thing. Now, while that's doing that, I'm going to go download a 3D asset online to do so. It's pretty easy. A lot of places have free assets nowadays. If I do 3D sword FBX or OBJ, you can use either one of these. I'm going to just grab something that's free, which is really cool. So right here, I'm on Turbo Squid, but honestly, there's like GrabCAD. There's a ton of websites where you can just download free stuff. You're going to head and open this. What I like to use is FBX. So I'm just going to download this. I'm going to download the textures. This is important. You need the texture so that your model isn't plain. Now, once that's downloaded, go ahead and open your VRM file. It'll look like whatever. Grab that FBX file and just drop it into assets. It'll appear there. Now I'm going to put this on my upper back or upper chest area, which is on the left side here. So this is the parameters. You're going to drop it under upper chest so that it stays hooked to that. And it comes in like this. I'm just going to rotate it. I'm going to scale it. So it's all up here, guys. Left hand is up, scale, rotate, move tool. So I'm just going to move it behind my back over my shoulder still too big so I can just make it smaller you can also put this in your hand if you want to it's just more finicky to get like your hand gripping it but it's totally possible to make sure it's closer to your back but not fully just like shoved in your shoulder so there you go so now it's attached to the upper chest so it shouldn't move when I do kind of similar to how my sword currently on my model works now to add the texture, you're gonna to go to textures. So go left side under the textures. Go ahead and drop the texture you downloaded. Go to materials, hit create. Go down to material, name it whatever you want. So when you have this selected, go back to textures and you're gonna drop it on the right side. Like so. So now this material which was empty now has a texture. You're gonna grab it. Maybe I can zoom in for you guys. Grab it and just drop it onto that sword. Now, while you're clicking this texture, you're gonna see it says shader standard. You go VRM, Mtune. That's just kind of, it's just a type. Okay, it's just a type of texture, the way the shading works. But that's what I like to use. And as you can tell, it looks much nicer than the whole 3D thing I was doing. And here you can like change it to whatever. It doesn't really matter in this sense. But I like to put it as rendering type transparent and come mode off. Oh geez, I'm sorry. So yeah, that's that's literally it. You just download any free file. You can download a bot one, doesn't matter. Obviously, whatever you want on your model. And you just put it to whatever part of the body you want it to be. You can do this for glasses, you can do this for headsets, you can do this for like armor. Um and now if I want this to be on my hand, I would grab what I put in. So it should be in the hierarchy right here. I'm gonna put it in my right hand. Just gotta go upward to find hand. Da -da 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 -da. Upper arm, it's somewhere, shoulder, arm, hand. Okay, left hand, I lied. So it's their left, which is the opposite of what you're looking at. So it's gonna be this side. Yeah, so you just kind of rotate it to where you want it to be. Assume that your hand grabs it. This is where it gets a little confusing, right? Because when the hand grabs it, it's going to... I might have to do it this way. 
Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Maybe a little closer. Whatever. Now, with all of this on, you're just going to go to your... Click your top to save it out. VRM. Uh, export humanoid. Name it whatever. Save it out. Now to test it, I'm just going to open 310 or me 10, whatever people call it. I'm going to open the VRM file and it looks like that. So as you can see, it looks like my model ugh, is holding the sword. And obviously you can just go back and adjust it in Unity, but basically this is what it looks like. And that's, that's it. It's super easy to add a 3D asset to your model. Like I said, you can add hats and headsets and glasses and whatever you want. But that is all you need to do. So say you want a custom 3D asset that you cannot find anywhere online. You can't buy it online. My friend Lagoon does 3D modeling commissions. We have done multiple things like Gundam, specialized armor, all of that, me and him work together. He models, I rig. So if you have a VRM model and you want custom assets, please feel free to hit us up. I will put my Discord below, contact me. We can talk about pricing and what exactly you want and if it really is possible, but we offer that. So feel free to message me if you're interested. And that'd be all for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please leave a like, please subscribe, and please let me know in the comments what tutorial you would like to see next. This was actually a requested video from the comment section. So I hope to see you guys soon and have a good day. Bye.